Hi guys, so today I have got the Me in a Bottle um, polish tag. It's taken me a little while to do this one. Um, I automatically think of purple when I think of Me in a Bottle, but I couldn't think of what other colours to use. So after watching a few videos, I got a bit of inspiration. So I have got some others as well as purple to show you, and I've also got two that aren't Me in a Bottle. So, the first polish I've got is by Pretty Serious and it's called an Uzi from Daddy. It's a purple glitter with bigger blue glitters in it, which is that one there. Um, now, when I built this, I straight away said if I was a nail polish, it would be this one. It's purple's my favourite and blue's my second favourite, so it combines both of those and it's glittery, which again I love. Um, well, it's sort of like a glitter shimmer actually. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty serious, an Uzi from Daddy. Now, the second polish I've got to show you is um, by Emily de Molly, and it's called Ava. This is my first Emily de Molly polish. Um, it's a purple base with a blue shimmer for it. It looks a lot brighter in real life than it does on the camera. Um, but these two, out of all of them, are the ones that are most me in a bottle. So that one was Ava by Emily de Molly. Now the third one I've got to show you is a model's own polish and it's called Pucker Purple. Um, this could actually be a one coater. It may be that I've had it quite a while and that's why it is now. But it's quite it's a quite a thick formula actually. Um, but it's fine to work with and it's just like a bright purple which is sort of like the perfect purple colour for me um, and it's just a cream I actually wore this one on my wedding day so this is definitely, definitely describes me in a bottle so that was Pucker Purple by Model Zone also from Model Zone I've got Purple Haze which is a purple glitter now this one, the longer you wear the money um, the purple tends to rub off and it ends up with silver glitter which is a bit weird but I love glitter anyway, so that's fine. Um, but because this one's purple, it's just even better. So that one was Purple Haze by Model Zone. Um, and I did put, let me see, two coats of this one. I did put it on top of, um, of the puck of purple just to show you, but you could probably get away with wearing it on its own, that one. Um, the next one isn't a purple, but it is a blue. <laughs> And it's a blue shimmer called Super Powered. It's from the Revlon Spider-Man collection. I've got three polishes out of this collection and I would like more, um, but I haven't found them yet. So I did three coats of this one. It was quite streaky actually, but I love shimmers and I love blues. So again, this is sort of the blue I would go for if I was looking for one to wear. Um, now, one of the colors that I've got that isn't me is a red. I, I just don't like red on my nails, I don't think it suits me. Ironically, I've chosen two polishes actually that aren't me, and ironically both of them have got a quality in them that I do enjoy. So this red I've chosen is Boudoir by Ciati, and it's two coats, but it's a jelly formula, and I really like jelly formulas, <laughs> but I just don't wear reds that often. If I am going to wear a, a sort of red, I would go for this colour which is more of a burgundy and this is called Cranberry by e.l.f. Um, that one's got a bit of shimmer in it too actually um, let me see how many coats of this one oh I did two coats of this one um, the next one is a Primark polish actually that I've chosen and it hasn't got a name it is a neon one um, and I did three coats it's quite a thick polish and the brush is huge. It's almost a bit too big for me. So this is the colour. Um, if I'm going to go for a neon, and I do like wearing really bright colours, um, this peachy colour is the sort that I reach for. Let me just show you the brush if I can. So the brush is huge. So I did have a little bit of trouble with this one putting it on. But the polishes I've chosen are more just to, apart from the first four, the others are more just the colour really. Um, so again that was a PS one from Primark which is just like a neon peach. Um, and then another colour I enjoy wearing is yellow. The very first 
yellow polish that I bought I actually don't own anymore. So as an example I am showing you my Barry M Pale Yellow, which is this one here. Um, I did three coats of this one, it is quite a sheer one actually for a yellow, but I don't use my Barry M's very much so I thought I would pick out this one for this tag. Um, I've also got another Barry M, which is Barry M Gold Glitter, and I usually put it on a gold base, and I did two coats. This is one of my absolute favourite polishes ever. As you can see, I'm halfway through the bottle. Um, you can't, I can't find it anymore, this one. But I've got other gold glitters, so it's just that this was one of the first ones I bought. Um, so yeah, so I do really like this one. But I haven't worn it. I've done. I did do a swatch picture. I haven't worn it on a full money for a, quite a while actually. But glitter is just me. <laughs> I did say to my husband, if you could describe me in a <laughs> polish, <laughs> what would it be? And he was going to say glitter, so that's all good. Um, the second glitter I've got to show you here is Confetti by Siati. This is another one I've used quite a lot of, and it's like a silver holographic glitter. Um, if I do wear glitters, I do tend to go for silver or gold. Um, just, I don't know why really, they just sort of, um, they just call to me a bit more than any of the others. But yeah, so I really enjoy this one. And I have put this on top of uh, a slight silver base, um, just to show on the swatch pictures. I think this is more of a top of this one actually. Um, and final colour that is me in a bottle is Inkwell from Simple Colours and it's just a black. I think the emo kid in me still, you know, it's still in there somewhere. I really like wearing dark polishes. Um, there's, I've got a few actually, there's a Deborah Lippman one that I recently swatched that's uh, quite a vampy colour. Um, you guys might not see that video till after this one actually. But yeah, I really like dark nails. So dark nails, bright nails, purple nails, glitter nails. <laughs> Those are probably the main four that I would go for. Um, I have got one more to show you that's not me, and it's Simple Colours, and it's called Cream Pink. Um, like I said, ironically, the two that I chose that aren't me both had qualities that I enjoy, and this one has got a gold shimmer through it, which when I picked it out, I didn't realise. Um, but this is just representing Cerise Pink more than anything, to be honest. Um, I, pink is another one. Well, no, not pink in general, cerise pink, I should say. I do like some pinks, but this bright cerise pink, I can just never, never get on with it. Um, so, yeah, so those ones, and that one in the red, are the ones that aren't me. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry if I've rambled and rambled, but, yeah, this one was um, a bit tricky for me, actually. But I'm glad I've done it now. Um, I can't wait to see everybody else's videos, so I tag whoever hasn't done it because I'm not sure who's been tagged now and who hasn't. So make sure you all have a go at it because it's great fun. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos and I'll see you soon. Bye.